It's Mark from Complete Turnaround Detailing. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do a 100% touchless car wash. I'll start by rinsing off the car. The technique here is to kind of get the surface wet before you just go spraying at it hard so you're not just blasting the dirt into the paint. It's important to spray in the fender wells also and the tires real good. I'm using a Sunjo SPX 3200 pressure washer with a 50 foot Uberflex hose and a swivel with quick disconnects and a stubby nozzle. I'm also using 100% spot free water with my new deionizer setup. Here I'm using Adam's Mega Foam and a Max Shine Foam Cannon. I want to foam down the whole car. Now it's important to remember that this is only for a car that's just moderately soiled, maybe a little bit of dust or some water spots. It's not a good idea to do this on a car that's say, caked in mud or real dirty or something. Now I'm going to let the foam dwell on the surface so it can do its thing by encapsulating and lifting the dirt off. Here I'm refilling my foam cannon with some Armorall Extreme Shield Ceramic Car Wash. Now I'm rinsing the car again to get the mega foam off along with the dirt that it picked up.
And now I'm going to foam it up a second time with the ceramic car wash. This will both get any dirt left on the surface off, hopefully, and put a layer of protection on. Now this is a perfect time to explain why it's a good idea to film yourself washing a car even if you're not making videos. As you can see I missed a spot here and went the foam both times and I'll have to remember that next time. All right, all right, all right. Now again, I'll let the foam dwell on the surface, but not as long this time because the ceramic protection can leave streaks if you don't rinse it off quick enough. Now I'll rinse again. This time it's important to make sure you get all the soap off. And you can kind of level the protection with the stream of the water. whole process including setup and putting everything away probably only took about 35 maybe 40 minutes Now I'm not hand drying the car because I use spotless water. The whole point of this is to not leave any love marks at all and not have to touch the car with anything. You could use a blower, I just didn't feel like it this time. 